Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we continue learning how data step processes. We will learn how to retain variable values by using the retain and SOM statements. This topic is based on chapter 3 in Handbook of SAS Data Step Programming Book. In the last video on data step processing, we learned the differences between reading a raw data set and a SAS data set. In the program data vector, or PDV, both underscore and underscore, and underscore error underscore are the automatic variables. The rest of the variables, such as name, height, weight, and BMI, are not automatic variables. There are two types of non-automatic variables, including the variables that exist in the input data, and the variables being created in the data step. For variables that exist in the input data, such as name, height, and weight, SAS sets each variable as missing in the PDV, only before the first iteration of the execution. These variables will retain their values in the PDV, until they are replaced by the new values from the input data set. For the newly created variables, that are not from the input data set, such as BMI, SAS will set these variables to missing in the PDV, at the beginning of every iteration of the execution. Now, let's see an example based on this data set. In this data, there are two variables, ID, and score. Suppose we would like to create a new variable, total, that is used to accumulate the score variable. To create an accumulator variable, total, we need to initialize total to zero, at the first iteration of the execution. Then at each successive iteration of the execution, add the value from the score variable to the total variable. Since total is a new variable that we want to create, total will be set to missing in the PDV, at the beginning of every iteration of the execution. Thus, to accumulate the total variable, we need to retain the value of total, at the beginning of each iteration of the execution. In this situation, we need to use the retain statement. The retain statement will prevent the variable from being initialized, each time the data step executes. In the retain statement, variable is the name of the variable that we will want to retain. Value is a numeric value that is used to initialize the variable, only at the first iteration of the data step execution. If we do not specify an initial value, the retained variable is initialized as missing, before the first execution of the data step execution. This program uses the retain statement to create the total variable. Let's go over the execution phase of this program, to better understand the retain statement. The execution phase begins immediately, after the completion of the compilation phase. At the beginning of the execution phase, underscore and underscore is set to 1, and underscore error underscore is set to 0 in the PDV. The variable's ID and score are set to missing. The variable total is initialized to 0 because of the retain statement. If we do not use the retain statement to initialize total to 0, total will be set to missing at the beginning of the execution phase. Next, the set statement copies the first observation from the input data to the PDV. The retain statement is a declarative statement, it does not execute during the execution phase. Total is calculated. The control reaches the end of the first iteration of data step execution. Since there is no explicit output statement, the implicit output at the end of the data step tells SAS to write observations to the output data. SAS returns to the beginning of the data step to begin the second iteration. At the beginning of the second iteration, underscore and underscore is incremented to 2. The variables that are read from the input data set, including ID and score, retain their values in the PDV. The newly created variable total is also retained, because the retain statement is used. Without using the retain statement, total will be set to missing at this point. Next, the set statement copies the second observation from the input data to the PDV. Total is calculated. The control reaches the end of second iteration. The implicit output copies the contents from the PDV to the output data. SAS returns to the beginning of the data step to start the third iteration. Underscore and underscore is incremented to 3. ID and score are retained from the previous iteration, because they are from the input data. Total is also retained because of the retain statement. 
the set statement copies the third observation from the input data to the PDV. Total is calculated. The implicit output generates the last record for the output data. The sum statement is similar to the retain statement. In the sum statement, variable is the numeric accumulator variable that is to be created. It is automatically set to zero at the beginning of the first iteration of the data step execution and is thus retained in the following iterations. Expression after the plus operator can be any SAS expression. In a situation where expression is evaluated to a missing value, it is treated as zero. Therefore, the previous program can be rewritten by using the sum statement instead of using the retain statement. By using the sum statement, total is initialized to zero at the beginning of the data step execution. Total also retain its value at every iteration of the data step execution. Now, let's review what we've learned from this video. In this video, we learned how to use the retain and the sum statements. Knowing how to use these two statements is closely related to understanding how data step processes. The retain statement prevents the variable from being initialized at the beginning of each iteration of data step execution. By default, the variable that is specified in the retain statement is set to missing at the beginning of the first iteration. The sum statement also prevents the variable from being initialized at each iteration. However, the sum statement set the accumulating variable to zero at the beginning of the data step execution and accumulates the value from the expression. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates.